Alright, my people, welcome back on to this channel. Hmm, this is another strong one reaching us. Still on the matter. Yoruba Nation no going back. Exactly what it is. Exactly what the people are talking about. Up Yoruba Nation. Oh my Yoruba. Ah, kuorireo. Yoruba Nation. Ti duro. Ah, elehi. Oh, benutan. Well, my brother, my sister, this is another strong one that everybody needs to be jubilating right now. You know, before now, the... <laughs> Also, people came out some weeks ago and they are of the opinion that enough is enough for the Fulanese that all the evil they have perpetrated enough is enough that henceforth the Fulani must leave their territory before now majority of us we used to think um, the Hausa and the Fulani they are the same but now the reverse has been the case so <laughs> the Fulani don't pass their boundary in fact eh, they have passed their boundary in where the Hausas are in fact they have continued to do the same thing they are doing in yoruba land and in every part of the country to these houses now a lot of things actually happened now these uh, Hausa people have now come out it's no longer a joke they are giving the fulani people three months i say three months to pack all their loads and leave <laughs> my brother my sister this is another strong one that is actually reaching us this is exactly what we are talking about they are giving them three months to pack all their load and leave now this is exactly what we are talking about if you are out there <laughs> you are still shouting one nigeria i always say it you're on the long thing though my brother because now all the tribe <clears throat> all the tribe in nigeria are now working together this is good news for all our elders that have been joking with yoruba nation movement they now need to wake up chief sunday Bowo is vindicated either do you like it or not <laughs> uja bless i always say that no man cause yes yeah, so chief sunday Bowo stood his ground that no going back now shene after all that had happened against him he still stood on his ground that still on the matter no going back yes this uh, outside people have come out in their numbers that you know then they came out like they you know they said it in paper that they are hungry a lot of people don't still believe but this time around they have came out in video the video is has gone viral in case you have not watched that video <laughs> my brother my sister you will definitely get it is everywhere now yes now these Hausa people have come out in their numbers and they are of the opinion that enough is enough. The Fulanese have done their worst and they, they must go. We are giving them just three months to leave our land. Yes, and they, they, have, they also said something that is very important. They said don't call us Hausa Fulani anymore we are Hausa. we are not fulani in fact don't add fulani to our name our name is not fulani we are Hausa because a lot of you don't understand the difference they said this uh, same set of fulani people that are terrorizing everywhere that are terrorizing you people that you people are crying you are shouting this same thing they are doing to you people they are doing to us that are Hausa. so we are not the same don't call us Hausa fulani call us Hausa jejeli it, it pays us that's our name no more joko hmm it is time for action to deal with the fulani according to what the the houses are saying right now yes what actually warranted this was actually brought this one that made the houses to wake up finally and say enough is enough now it happened that the main, I just want to tell you the major reason why these houses came out in their numbers that they have actually finally now made up their mind that no, Fulani must leave their land. This is the reason. Now, it happened that there is this uh, Hausa farmer. This man has uh, he had a very big plot of land. What actually happened was anytime this man grows his crop anytime he cultivates his farmland as soon as this thing grows as soon as his uh, farmland grows 
The next thing, Fulani people will take their cow to his land, to the farm, and they will eat up all the crops of this man. As soon as this man plant again, as soon as they find out that it has grown, they will still carry their cow. For you to know how wicked this Fulani are. They will still carry their cow, take to this farmland, this man, this house man farmland, they will make sure their cow finish everything. They will make sure their cow destroy everything. Now, hmm, my brother, my sister, the reverse is now the case. So when this farmer, this house man now discovered that, ah, why is it that all these uh, Fulani people, why is it that they had, they are just terrorizing me on my farmland? Why is it that they are this so wicked? On my farmland, what exactly is going on? You know what? This man has okay, fine. If that is the case, no wala. So this man had dropped, you no, know, he now made sure there is poison in all those crops. So that as soon as these Fulani people come back again and eat the produce, then immediately they will just buy. My brother, my sister, exactly what this uh, Fulani man, uh, this Hausa man did on his farmland. So now, immediately this man discovered that, oh, his farm produce have grown to the stage whereby he knows that Fulani will come with their cow to come to destroy and eat up everything. So he quickly added that stuff. He added the majele, sharp, sharp. <laughs> so after adding it, he knows that as soon as they eat it, they must buy. It's just a trap for them. Lo and behold, immediately this thing grew up. As usual, the Fulani people brought their cow and then they started eating this man's farm produce. After they finished eating, at the end of it all, all the cow died. All of them died. All the cow won't cool down. Okay? Now, it now happened that the Fulani, you know now, when this kind of a thing happens, my brother, my sister, the best thing is for the farmer to just, you know, find his way and jack her. Jack, but don't just go back there again. So immediately this happened. The Fulani were now of the opinion that eh, so this is exactly what this man has done. Finish our cow, no wala. You know what they did? They now went to lay ambush for this man. They went straight to the farmland. They were there all through, waiting for this man to come to the farm to see what had happened. At least, no matter what, he will. They know he will definitely come to his farmland. They waited for like some days. They didn't see this man. They kept on waiting. You know these Fulani people, when they mean business, they make sure they complete that work. They were there waiting for this man to come. Lo and behold, this man came to the farmland. They were watching. As he came there, he saw that all the cow had died. The man was not like, mm hmm Now so, before you knew it, all these Fulani from different corner, they came in, they attacked this man. At the end of it all, they buy this man in that farmland. Hmm. Immediately they buy this man in that farmland, they were not like very good. That anybody they see, in fact, if you do any mistake to pass through that farmland, they buy you. That was what now happened. So from there, the Hausa people now was not were not like oh, so this thing that these Fulani people are doing, they still they have still done it to this level that they are buying our brother. That's where the Hausa people now woke up that oh, this is it it will this will be the end that is why the Hausa people now came out in their numbers that this is the final stage enough is enough full any people either on a like him or not now must come out for our land that is why you have seen the Hausa people now woken up that no more mercy for the Fulani, that they are going to use their last blood. They are going to use their last blood to make sure they send this Fulani away. That is why they came out earlier that all the Yoruba people, all the Igbo people, they are ready to work with them to send the Fulani away. My brother, my sister, is this not good news? What we have been praying for. Now, all the tribes, Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, all of us, we are now ready to send this full and a packing. That's exactly what God can do. My brother, my sister, in no time, either you like it or not, hey, just be jubilating. In no time, it has shown that, it has proved that Yoruba nation is ready. It has shown that Yoruba nation is set.
to be actualized either the enemy like it or not it's a great thing now we have the egos we have the Hausa and the Yorubas coming together to send this uh, how will I call them this janja weed I like to use that word to send this janja weed out of our land and then this is a very big concern for all the Yoruba elders that have been you no know, looking away that have been neglecting the movement because right now the houses are ready to support the Yoruba so all the elders that have been shouting uh, restructuring this is a shame for you people if you people are not going to support your whole now if you are not going to support when the houses have already already made up their mind to support you people then it will be a shame on your own side. Chief Sunday Bowo is finally vindicated. Either they like it or not. Oh, hey, Yoruba Nation, don't stand. Oh, Yoruba Nation, Oti Duro, Eye Niyowa, Yoruba Nation, Oti Duro, Kama Jo, Kama Yode Loku Bayo. Hmm. My brother, my sister, this is exactly what it is. Onto this one, what more can we say? Meanwhile, let me have your own take, my people, on this. And uh, remember to subscribe for more updates if you are just joining us on this channel for the first time time all right thanks and god bless